Welcome back to Bay Local Games and Shipwrecks, I'm JP Fallays, this is the channel where you join me for a dive. We don't really know what we're doing sometimes, just like today. We've dropped in right outside the harbour mouth and we're heading in a southerly direction. As you can see there's loads of dead crabs here. These are crabs that have been caught and taken to shore, picked, and all the uh, guts, um, the brown, the claws, the shell, all gets dumped back in the sea. So the nutrients actually help what else is uh, trying to grow in the area. It's not going into landfill, which is really good. As you can see, I'm pointing out loads of scallops. There's also loads of old bottles here. Some of them are really old. Most of them are very modern though. In the huge starfish. Plenty of these around here as well. We're right on the edge of a reef and we are working our way south down towards Vermaine Bay again. And we are catching uh, king scallops, or looking for king scallops anyway. It's nice if we do catch some. Like this one here hidden between the rocks. This is a decent size one, this one. crab shells. Some of them are absolutely massive. Believe it or not, there's actually a few King Scallop around here. It's quite hard looking for them though because all the empty shells from the previously shocked scallops and also these are doing exactly the same as what we're doing there, sniffing out scallops. You'll notice every so often a big ball of seaweed rolls past me. Some of them can scare you, especially when you catch them out the corner of your eye and it's just outside your range to be able to see it properly. It's 19.5 meters and I've got 29 minutes left of my no decompression time. Loads of air. Looks like that starfish had his own, so I won't take it off of him. He's caught it fair and square, so I'll leave him with it. There's a fair few scallop shells around here and also crab carcasses, probably spread out, spread out over a hundred and some odd meters. And there's the normal predators. See a dogfish just hiding behind the reef waiting for something to swim past so we can eat it. more 
old trawl cable. chocolate finger sponge. Don't know if I've ever seen one that big before. A bit early in the year to be spider crab shells but there was one just there and that looked like a decent size. Hopefully they're coming in. Maybe that's a fisherman that's caught it out in the deep and has landed it. Fingers crossed they are on their way in. Failed dive ladder, or is it someone just chucking their swimming pool ladder into the sea? Probably the latter. Looks like some fisherman's lost his weight there. Right in the crevice, stuck. These are peacock tube worms. are not doing very well looking for scallops at the moment. Here's one just here. Is this big enough? Yeah, definitely big enough. Put that in the bag. Because we're in the tide and we're heading south, I'm trying to head in a westerly direction, trying to get it a bit shallower. Kind of stay near the reefs, either right up against them or above them. But the tide is ripping my buff on the surface that's pulling me further south into deeper water. It's not ideal but I've got plenty of bottom time left and plenty of air so we'll just go with it. Still extremely hard to find out which one's alive and which one's dead. But one of the giveaways is when you swim past them, they pop a load of sand out. I check all these bottles. This one's got Guernsey written on the bottom. Probably a stranger's one. Um, maybe some fizzy drink of some sort. Have a good look around here because there's loads of old bottles. Oh, like this one. This is a lovely stoneware. So this one's old, this one. This could be really nice. Ah, not nice. It's broken. It looked really good when it was that way up, but it doesn't when it's that way up. 
That caught me out. I reckon someone's flipped that over to try and catch someone out. Chances are it's just landed like that, but we'll leave it there. I won't catch anyone out. Leave it as a little home for something. Oh well, let's carry on. We might get lucky and see something else. It's been very slow going on the scallop front at the moment for me. But then again, I am right up against a reef. And on seabed, there isn't particularly renowned for it. That's just cannibal, this. I'll leave it there, it's stuck. If it's easy to move, I would have taken it. I'm past the days of trying to get these cannibals off the seabed now. You waste too much time. You're better off leaving it. Also, there's bits and bobs like this as well. Probably part of the bow fort, but this is well up tide. It looks like the base of a derrick for winches or some sort. Well, or some big bracket. You see a starfish inside it. This is the bottom of an old crab pot. Oh, I recognise this. A big rock full of Ross coral. I think the last time I was here it was molting season for all the spider crabs and there was a massive mound of them just around this rock. Pretty cool. I recognise it because there's actually a chain wrapped around it as well. See on the bottom right hand corner of the rock? It's quite a big mooring chain that's wrapped around. I'm quite sure why it's there. I'm sure there's a reason for it. There just seems to be thousands and thousands of empty shells. Old shells that are now covered in silt. Check my time. Still got 23 minutes bottom time left. I think I might call it, call it a dive soon. Just having a look around, trying to decide which way I want to go. But not being allowed to go that way. Due to the tide. Look at this, there's some old store pot by the looks of it. You can tell it's a store pot because it's got this little top on it. Looks like it's been remade out of a state's Guernsey dairy crate. The base of one. They're crazy these fish because you don't see them until you get right in close. That's how good their camouflage is. Well, maybe it's not their camouflage, maybe it's just my eyesight. There is scallops still around here, but they're all too small by the looks of it. There is literally thousands of scallop shells. And there's a couple of tyres there that have been dumped. Is there a lobster inside? Maybe. Nope, nothing inside. It's fairly old. 100, 100 years old, but we'll leave it there. So I decided to call it a day on that one. Not that many to be honest. Yeah. Welcome back to Bailey Looking Guernsey Shipwrecks. I'm JP Fallays and as you can see we've been diving. Straight into the action today. I couldn't be bothered to do an intro. Uh, I wasn't going to actually make any films, so I took my camera in case, and it was actually pretty good. The wind's been in the east for a few weeks, so um, we were expecting it to be good biz. Pool's still in the water, just waiting for it to come back out, and then we're heading back in, because it's freezing. We've got some yachts out here as well. Straight back down and straight into dive number two. It's cold today, so this time of year we normally keep our surface intervals down to an hour and then we go. Look at this little mini milk bottle. We don't have milk bottles like that in Guernsey, so it must have been from somewhere else. Later on, I actually looked at a name on there and it said uh, Jersey Dairy, so it must have come all the way from Jersey. 
probably on the boats that used to trade between Guernsey and Jersey. Uh, probably one of the mail boats just got thrown over the side. And there's some okay scallops around here. Still very small, but to be honest, I'm just happy to be under the water. It's nice and it's relaxing. And we're just drifting in the tide. On our second dive, we dropped in further down, a uh, bit further towards St Martin's Point. And to be honest, there's a lot less uh, picked crabs around here now. And it's a tiny bit deeper as well. But the tide is still pulling quite hard. Look at this. Little cuttlefish. Let's wait here, let's give him a little bit of a film. Wait until my dust cloud follows behind. Wait for it to overtake and watch this. You can see him trying to bury himself. You won't tend to see him swimming around much when the tide's pushing like this quite hard. They tend to just sit there and wait for the tide to slacken off and then they go for a little wander. seaweed really do scare you to be honest especially when they look like they're walking like that one mm -hmm. this one's too small there's a few around here that are too small and I always say it but it's actually really good to see the smaller ones as well as the bigger ones coo -choo -coo. spider crab some of these spider crabs never leave so they're all year round they're very docile and very dark in colour you never know what you're going to find in this place that one looks too small to the right Looks okay. Whoa! Notice that? <laughs> Not quite sure what that is. It's live. It's live ammunition. Could be a 303 Browning or 50 calibre. Probably a 50 calibre. I mean, it'd be quite easy just to pull the bullet out the end of this, um, which would then make it not live or not lethal anyway still a charge inside it but we'll leave it there last thing I want to do is be taking that to the sh back up to the top and then home you know that could really hurt someone especially if it's um, a phosphorus round basically phosphorus uh, rounds um, just catch fire when they're with air or exposed to air
and that's it. I think I've done worse on my second dive. Oh well. Well, that's good. There, to pick me up straight away. Get out Richard's way so we can see him. That's a decent bag. That's a decent bag. That's a decent bag. Looks like Paul didn't have the vis we had, Matt. He's lucky. How many? 72. Oh, good numbers. That's the highest so far. Not bad for 70 bar. Yeah, not bad at all for 70 bar. <laughs> half a half a tank. 72 and 96. Yeah, that's not bad. Oh, so you've had both higher scores so far. Uh, yeah, that's looking like a that's looking like a hundred plus there. And thanks to Richard for bringing us out because it's absolutely freezing. All our buffs it up the front here. Out the way. And it's home time. Better sort mine out as well. Before we get in. We don't have milk bottles in Guernsey, so that's obviously been chocked off a boat. Hundred and three. You got the highest score by six. Yeah, not bad for a cold. Cold wintery in Barksdale. Yeah, not bad for a cold wintry morning. Or springy morning, I suppose. So that's all from us. Thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha.